This place is great, really comfortable. I'm just gonna get settled in. Time to move on, get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. said it was a long time ago let it go seriously Definitely more my style than Panama, or Hoboken, I guess. No, if I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right, it wasn't doing me any favors. Maybe I'd lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited, really. I really needed a new start. I think you're right. I think I am gonna like it here. It certainly... It certainly ain't New Jersey. It's my new life. Just like you said. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, what have I got to lose? Apart from the weight. Very funny. Ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk. So there you go folks, the incredibly depressing intro to Max Payne 3. I have to admit though it is pretty good, not sure yet, I'm probably gonna just, there we go, turn that down a little bit, because it was horrendously loud. Okay, stereo would be fantastic. Graphics actually, is there anything anything I should do? No, well I've got these turned down a little bit purely because I've tried turning them up, I've tried it in my system, and apparently it just doesn't like it. it I, I don't know why. It's very, very strange. Uh, gameplay settings, outline pickups. Around weapon pattern. Mm, let's just turn that one and see see how that goes. Okay. Right. Let's go for the story then. Uh, balance health and bullet time presents a stiff challenge. Efficient bullet time and shot accuracy is not yeah well. It's going to have to be medium if it's my first time. Okay, why 
when aiming an reticule will be lightly guided towards enemies. Um, yeah, I'll try it. I suppose I can switch it off. Invert? No, no, I'd never invert. That's just stupid. I do like the sort of storytelling style of this game. If you haven't guessed already, Max Payne is an incredibly depressed character. Been through quite a lot. So I guess I've become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seemed to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? It's scotch. I never mix my drinks. Yeah, well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know, something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. Just got cowboys running security downstairs. Something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. Huh. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Uh, He's some kind of magic. Serious though. Big end cop, anti gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. So who's this? Vegito. Guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a co capital do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> that's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco, a local businessman. Built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. Guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. 
felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Oh, shit. Why would I pull my gun out straight away? I mean, it's just... Okay, whatever. Pass off! How was that? I don't know what the fuck that was. Let's go. Things had gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second. And now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear. You got this floor? Sure. Right. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about. Trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. I hoped I hadn't lost my edge. Along with everything else. R? What the hell are you talking about? I'm using a game pad. Oh. Are you are you serious? Oh right, I see. And then I use that. Uh, uh of course, of course. And the, it was time to choose. A nasty okay, fall or a bullet to the head. Back. So push that forward, press that to shoot dodge. And then boom, boom. LT to lock onto the next target. Ah! Nice! Noise! Where are you? I shoot you! Oh yeah! That's right. So I enter bullet time by pressing the right... Ah, right, of course. Let's just have a run around here. Look out the window. There's a great view that you... Oh dear! <laughs> How long that lasts? Wait, that's B is real. That was the boss lady. Only this time she wasn't calling for more liquor in her cocktail. Oh god damn. That's not really good. Um oh, lovely fire. Uh no, we're not going this way. Right. She was out on one of bad. the balconies, and I hoped, not about to be thrown off it. Through the door. Oh. Is my body down there? Don't be stupid! Yep. Don't be stupid! Oh god, he's good friends. Let her go! Come on! It might have been stupidity or drunkenness, or maybe both. Oh no, but you're not I gonna knew jump. I was are back you? taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Yep, he's gonna jump. Uh in the head. Oh, oh, it was in the neck, but never mind. Oh, I love having bullet time back. Max Payne, I love you. Hey, you need a hand? No, you. Where the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's got to go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. I imagine the elevator door is opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Where is he? Right. Where are you, more like? Let's press to enter cover. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I wanted. And you can aim. Oh, fair enough. Yes, oh. Press that to exit. Oh. Where do you think you're going? Yeah. Oh, there's a guy right there. A shotgun. Dead. You're dead now. Oh, we're still not dead. Yeah, this guy's hardcore. I've got you now. Just poke your head up. Poke it up. There we go. Okay. 
Come on, hook up again. Come on. Just reload here. I'd done them enough favors. I didn't need to give them more of a head start. Wait a minute, what the? Oh yes, yeah, a shotgun. <laughs> of course. Yeah, we got a shotgun now. He feels better be worried. Oh, you are just... Bullet cam and shoot the last enemy with right trigger. Uh, slow down the bullet cam, you hold A. chance. I had literally no chance. Can we go through any of these doors? No. Can I go through this door? No. I like this game. There's no real HUD. Oh, what's this guy got? Oh, tasty. Where are we going? Where are we going? I had to move the quick, doors. or Bronco's next charitable donation would be to the worms. Huh. Yeah. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have oh to work my. hard to get him back, Shit. but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive. Almost as much as I did. Take a painkiller and restore some health. Oh dear. I didn't think they would actually go to flank me, but uh, there we go. Proved wrong. Any more guys? Let's jump out of cover like a badass. And he's behind there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. How are these people surviving? Shitting them with bullets for God's sake. I can't. If I run out of bullets, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck. Okay. Surviving uses one painkiller. Right. Was this a method of the game to teach me the game? Obviously it must be. Open doors and gates. The control box was on the wall to the left of the gate. Thanks for the running intro there. Right, let's get, pick up some bullets here. And... Interact. So, how do I switch to this other weapon? Here. Oh, here we go, you press that, and then you press down, and you can have that. Oh, yes. Very nice. Once Bronco was out the door, all bets were off. Ooh, I had nice to keep comes. moving. Search for clues, it will give you insight into your situation. Clues, clues, any clues? Any clues right here? Anything, anything at all? I guess not. Examine pecked oh. The great thing about being famous as well as rich is the bad guys know who to kidnap. Dropped photo examined. Right, so wait a minute. When I run past something, he looks down. So yeah, that's that's quite good. That's quite handy. Devanger. Devanger. The well, parking lot rattling with <laughs> gunfire. Was I too late? Was I too late? Oh dear, no. This cover. That enemy over there. Um, oh, I can't reach him right now. So. Is he still alive? No, no, no. Ah. 
Damn painkillers. What are they saying? What are they saying? I should have turned subtitles on. Não ponho o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos. Ajuda, cara. Chama uma ambulância. Ajuda. Fuck. You did good, Max. You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. Yes. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home and then I'll, I'll get you home too. Come on. He does look beat up. He's got bullet holes in him, for God's sake. Ah, oh, not anymore. They've magically disappeared. He doesn't look at all guilty standing in the background there. Back home, it was time for some R and R. The only way I knew how. With some Kong whiskey. If you want to do it right, you do it with Kong. <sighs> yep, that's how you do it right. <laughs> that. Not so much. And with that, I guess I was ready for bed. 